Mr. Suresh Kalmadi, thank you so much, sir, for joining us tonight. Sir, I have to admire your longevity. You've been MP from 1982. Yeah. You've been head of the Indian Olympic Association. You've been head of the Indian Athletics Federation, also from the early 90s. What explains your staying power? <laughs> well, the people want me, I'm there. But I've been between Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so whenever the people got fed up of me, I used to go to Rajya Sabha. When people missed me, I used to go back to Lok Sabha. That's how it's been. <laughs> well, your critics would say that's not about missing, that's manipulation. What would you say to that? <laughs> Whatever they say, but I get elected. <laughs> and uh, does the same apply to sports federations then? Uh, sports, I've been elected unanimously uh, a couple of times. So I'm happy everybody is uh, wanting me and I'm trying to bring up Olympic sports in the days of cricket. You know, cricket is played in 10 countries in the world. Mm -hmm. But Olympic sports are global sports and there's no gate money, nothing. So I entered there so that I can push up Olympic sports. Right, well, let me just go across to the burning question of today. And I'm sure it's something you think about every day as well, the Commonwealth Games. There are, three, there are three big issues which have come up. One is, how prepared are we? What took us so long? Well, I've got many tweets coming in, somebody citing the example of the London 2012 Games, where they already had things out of the way, stadiums ready by and identified land acquired by around 2009, and they're, they're keeping two years just for test events. We know what's happening in Delhi. It's months ahead. Stadiums are still being opened. The other big issue, the costs, 250% overrun. As someone's written in, 29 lakhs on snacks while people go hungry. Why should Delhi taxpayers bear the brunt of this? And the third big question, does India really need these games? How is Delhi and India going to benefit? Well, uh, we started slow. But then we have run into a brisk pace. And things are coming off well now. There are still 160 days left for the games and things are on track. We already held test events in about 10 events. So... Uh, they have all been fine. People have loved it. Uh, the president of the uh, World Hockey Federation said that it's the best hockey stadium in the world. Mm -hmm. The shooting people also said it's the best shooting range in the world. And uh, uh, the boxing people also said that Talcotara Stadium is all good. But Mr. Kalmadi, has 160 days left. The point is that the delays have led to huge cost overruns. I mean, we've seen how much the estimates have gone up. Delhi taxes are being raised because taxpayers have to, uh, the Delhi government says we don't have the money. The Prime Minister had to intervene. He set up an overseeing committee. The Delhi Chief Minister herself said a few months ago that she's spending sleepless nights. Is it now just become a last-minute arrangement? Is this how these games should be run? No, I don't agree with you there. Uh, things started slow because we had to get international permissions also to start a stadium. About costs going up, to make global standard infrastructure, the costs have gone up, not because of any delays. But when you see... Report, when, uh, a right to information application said that you, your committee has spent 29 lakhs on snacks. How do you expect <clears throat> Delhi pay, taxpayers to react to that? This 29 lakhs is over a period of three years and including all the international conferences we have had. So it's a small amount. It's not well, there were about much. 56 conferences. I think 29 lakhs were about 56 conferences. Yeah, but there have been a lot of conferences and I mean, nowhere are we overspending any money. We're actually underspending it. And most of us, we are spending from our own pockets. So it's well within uh, limits. I make sure of that. But why should Delhi taxpayers pay for this? Why are we paying extra taxes now because the, the, of the fact the, that game costs have overrun and estimates were wrong? You see, as far as snacks are concerned, that's the part of the organizing committee. The organizing committee has got 1,600 crores from the government as a loan. We have to repay all this money through sponsorships, through ticketing, through merchandising, and through television revenue. So we're mm. going to repay every pie. So nothing is put to a taxpayer for that. So we are returning all the money. Tubar.com.